Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're working on updating our free guild here. Now we got them to tabletop ready in about six minutes, which is awesome, especially since we've got old archers to do and crossbowmen and handgunners and sword and board guys and spearmen and whatever. So we got loads and loads to do. So the fact that we got this down to a really kind of decent time is awesome. Um, what my plan would be now is to basically apply that kind of contrast based approach, get everything done, or at least your big batch of 20 or 40 guys get those guys done get them based play a game with them have fun and then we can go in later and top them up this is purely optional obviously if you're happy with the look and feel uh, you don't even have to bother but if you want to look like you know you super invested tons of time in there uh, we can just do a couple more things just to kind of finish the model off and even those things aren't going to take up a lot of time so let's uh let's get started so what i'm going to do just bring my little uh my little mat here in Okay, and so what I'm going to do, uh, and again, the other nice thing about this is you can pick one highlight and batch all your guys and do it. So for example, if we were to start with the uh, yellow, for example, um, what we would do is we do the, all the yellow on all our guys and we could just leave them. And if you stop there, fine. Um, they're just a little bit brighter. And we could do the same thing with the red. Um, we'll highlight the blues and on and on we'll go. So uh, let's, uh, let's take a look. So um, we're going to start this whole process off. We'll do one color at a time. Um, we're going to start typically with the brightest color first. For example, this yellow here, um, I'll definitely be uh, going for that. Now with the yellow, all we're going to be doing is just an overbrush. So you'll see there's a little seam in the legs there. So all I'm going to do is just on the highest points, I'm not even really painting. You can see I got a little bit of wash in there kind of when I was low lighting, so I can fix that a little bit. So I'm just going in and it tapping in a little bit of extra color uh, where I think it might be needed. And if we're looking at the frills kind of are on the uh, on the arms here, uh, we can just go in and just kind of tap that color in there. And the idea here is just to maximize our effort, just by adding a little punch of color back in. Then we'll move on to the reds. Uh, the natural highlight for that red, that uh, Flesh Terror's red for me is Wild Rider Red. Uh, so I'll just grab that red and I'll do the same process. So exact same thing, just going in for the, the major highlights here. Now this color goes on pretty bright, uh, but it does darken down quite a bit. Now you could do this with a dry brush, uh, but because we're over brushing, we don't have to be particularly too accurate. Um, and I find that the dry brush kind of gives it a rougher uh, texture, which is good for some kind of skin effects. Uh, but for me, I like to just go in and just do that overbrush in those spaces there. Next up, we'll use Fulgurite Copper, uh, and that's going to be our highlight for all the gold pieces. Now, I really like Fulgurite Copper. Again, it's got this beautiful kind of mix. It's got, uh, you know, quite a bit of kind of gold in there, but it's got little flecks of... Uh, it's just silver just to kind of give it a little bit more uh, punch and brightness, which is really nice. And uh, for me here, I'm just going to go in now. Most of them have this kind of braided, it's either a weld or just kind of like a braided kind of copper or gold kind of layout around the outside there. So I'll just touch that, but I'm not like painting it, like tap, 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 tapping it all the way through. I'll see that at the front as well. Perfect. And that just gives a little bit of extra punch. And then of course any kind of buttons or any kind of design elements, we can brighten those up as well. For anything that we previously had kind of in that lead belcher there, we're going to use Rune Fang Steel. And for that, we're just gonna give, again, a little bit of brightness on the armor. So we're not actually going to repaint the armor uh, so much as we're just going to kind of scratch in a little bit of extra highlight. So on the armor here on the chest plate, I'll just kind of pick an area kind of on the upper middle and I'll just touch in a bit, a bit of brightness up top there. There's a little bit of edging down there. And on the spear, I'll just kind of pick off that tip of that spear. All right. Now, if you have, so I'll just go up here, just kind of where it would be exposed a little bit here. And it just gives you back a little bit of texture and then just kind of edging uh, any of the ridges in the armor there. This gives us a little bit of extra depth that we wouldn't uh, normally have. And then on the helmet, I'll just do like a little sweep across just that kind of top half. It doesn't have to be super, super bang on. 
just want to call our attention to that detail there. For anything wooden, um, I've gone in with that kind of deep brown contrast. So now what I like to do is use Steel Legion Drab and just kind of pick out a little bit of the, uh, just kind of a little bit of the, the wood there, just to give it a little bit of texture. Now we don't have to paint grains on or anything like that. All I'm going to do is just kind of touch it and drag it down a little bit, uh, just so I've got a little bit of depth. So I'll leave some of it with that contrast kind of still effectively there. Just like that. So not a perfect kind of repaint, just kind of a scratchy one. Just to give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a different texture, just a little bit more natural. Now finally, anything we do with the black Templar, for example, the uh, hat here, this very fine chapeau, uh, you'll see that it's kind of a deep gray. So all I'm going to do is take that Abaddon black, and then I'm going to go in and just restore a little bit of the black. So instead of edge highlighting it in gray, I'm going to go in and restore a little bit of the black on the hat. So just kind of painting the surface here, but leaving, leaving those edges available right there. I'll just sneak it in here into this little seam right around the hat like this. And then I'll get the straps on the shoulders and of course the shoes as well. Just making sure I leave that edging on the outside. Now, because that blue contrast is such a strong, uh, you know, strong amount of pigment and gives you just a beautiful gradation throughout, uh, we're not going to do too much work to kind of the the plumage, the feathers, and then the uh, the little tassels up here. But I'm going to take some Lothern blue, and I'm just going to do a very gentle dry brush across the top. So I'll take some on my dry brush. So you get about that much kind of paint on your dry brush there. Uh, I'll take my napkin that's been kind of sneaking in and out of the shot so far. And when I don't have any really much paint left on that uh, brush, I'll just go take this here and I'll just sweep up. Now you don't have to dry brush the whole thing. We're just adding a little bit of extra pop to those elements that are there. And it'll also just kind of, if there was an uneven shading with the contrast, so just pick that out and bring just a little bit of light. You can see that nice gradation up and it seems like a very natural, natural transition. Okay, and to finish off the flesh, we'll just use some Kislev flesh. Uh, it's a great highlight for that Gilman flesh wash. Uh, sorry, the contrast that we had there. Uh, and it goes on super nice. So uh, let's get that sorted out. Uh, and then finally, we'll just sneak in here. Now for the hands, it's just gonna be just kind of a kind of high level highlight of the hands, maybe anything that kind of sticks out. Uh, fingers are a little tricky to do, but you can try and just kind of brush over top. And then for the face, um, we wanna make sure that we just pull in a little bit more light. So we'll do the nose, uh, the cheekbones. Now you might need to do the forehead Okay, and then the chin. And all we're doing is just giving a little bit of that pop, that color, back to the flesh. Awesome. All right, so we've added on an extra about three minutes to that task of that initial six minutes. And you can see how far that gets us. I've taken this and I've you know, applied it right across the entire uh, squad of 20 dudes, which was done uh, you know, so fast, which is great. So speed painting through these guys, still having that amazing kind of regal look. Um, and you can see when they're all assembled and they're all painted, it looks great. The alternating color schemes really help break up. Like even when you got two of the same guy standing right beside each other, it breaks it up just a little bit. And um, no, I love the look and feel of these guys now the task is just to go and apply it to you know 40 sword and board guys you know like applying it to any archers you might have uh anything like that but oh man they look they look great super happy with it super happy with the time that i've invested uh in terms of what comes out in the payoff in the end so uh that's it for this one guys i hope this was of value and i hope you guys get some painted malls on the table um if you like the video obviously jab that like button uh it really helps uh you know show youtube that you like what's kind of going on here and it's interesting content uh, it also lets me know what kind of what you like as well and if you're new consider subscribing uh you'll get content updates you know kind of all of our new uh and kind of future videos um but that's it for this one guys thanks so much for watching this was a ton of fun we'll catch you in the next video